Hi, so I've had a tidy up and a clean up and this is all stuck down. So now I'm just going to pop the flowers on and we're going to go from there. I also thought I might just put some little highlights on the image with some, just I've got some glittery nail varnish. I will see. So first of all, I'm going to just do the flowers. And what I've done with this one, if you can see, I've just gone around the edges with a little bit of um the walnut stain just because they look a bit flat without um this is if i just put these together so they just look a little bit flat like that and i just want to give them a little bit of a little bit of something that's glue don't put it in there so if you see by just going around the edges it just highlights it a bit and it ties it in with enchanted woodland again it's personal preference totally but I just think these are lovely when they're like this it just gives them a whole new dimension I'll just go through this little one in the center and to me that just looks it looks so much better like that so I'm just going to pop a little bit of fabric tack to stick the layers together but I'm not using this to stick it onto my actual book cover I'm going to use the 3d medium to do that with so I just stick those down there I'm just going to let that set while I do another flower and I'm just the same again I'm just going to go around the edges flower and this one just darken those little edges a little bit on the inside of this one get up the petals a bit further there and again just a little blob of fabric tack just to stick these two together They all blew everywhere, so that can go on there. Perhaps I have that on one of them. Maybe the or a green one. It's a blot. The green one look better. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think the green. And then once I've glued all of these, I'm going to stick them in and we will go from there. I think I'll probably add other bits as I go along with this, um, but if we just do this this section today keep the video short um, I think inside it as well on some of the pages I'm going to do different elements um, of the forest so we can have the although this is very green turquoise -y and gold I will do some of the internal pages with different themes inside as well so, nearly done Now, 
just going to stick this one. This is just a little sequin that I had. Just to give it a little bit of interest. Put that on there. And then this one. Stick that on there. Okay, so that's the fabric tucked on. So now to decide where to put them on on my uh, cover. So I did a rough layout the other day, which I should have. I normally would photograph it. If I've done a rough layout, I'll do a photograph of it so that I remember where I've put things. But I don't right now. So I am just sorry if you can hear my son's music. Okay. So definitely want that one there. I think this one. Perhaps that one there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm liking that. So again, I'm using the. Oh, I'm just checking. I'm in shot there. It's 3D medium. Plenty on. Good blob of it on. I want these to stay put. In that top corner there. And then it's my son whistling now. I don't know if he doesn't know I'm from doing a video. I did say I was, but teenagers brains and all that. some of the little gold leaves so I'm going to tuck that one tuck that one in there under those flowers that's nice on there and I've got one more on the other side of that flower actually. Yeah. I'm sure this is totally different to the way I set it up the other day. That's fine. It's just the way things go. Just lift that slightly now. Tuck that right in there. A bit of glass there. Yeah. yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so the other thing that I mentioned that I might do is some just little highlighted dots. Um, these little, I don't know if you can see them on the image, let me just bring it up. So that's the flowers that we've now got in place. And here there's some little lighted spots on the image. I think I'm just going to go over those with tiny blobs of, I'll try the green, I've got a greeny glittery glue at uh, nail varnish. I'm just going to put tiny little over this one of these little spots. Not too much because otherwise it will run and that's the last thing I want. Just 
these are a load of old nail varnishes I have left over from when I used to do nail art years and years ago. Um, but they've come in so useful when doing these little bits. Tiny little spots. Where? Come off. There, they will just, once they've dried, they will just glisten and stand out a little bit more once they're dry. Just so it doesn't run, I'm going to pop something. Maybe too much. No, that's okay. I'm going to pop that underneath there just to let that dry. So I wonder if I can, if I can zoom in. Can you see? Yeah, because these little spots here are all the uh, nail varnish. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these so far. This, I just thought I would share with you how I go about... So I'm trying to zoom back out again. There we go. How I put my journals together. Um, I will carry on and show you what I do on the inside. I think I'm going to add to this. I don't know. I don't know if I'm finished with it yet or not. I'll decide to let it all dry totally and go hard. It's it's almost there. And then um, I'll probably do another video and continue the process on. Well, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, give it a thumbs up, please. Leave a comment. Love reading comments from you all. And uh, hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.